It's worth the wait. The Gerson Witness 2311. Let's take a look. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the range. My name is Trey with Ghost Tactical, and I am one of the dad bot operators with this channel. As you can see, we've got a special gift to bring to you guys today. It's something we've been waiting on for a while since shot of 2023 back in January. The wait is over, and my God, is it worth it. This is the EAA Gerson Witness 2311 double stack 1911 and 9 millimeter. As you guys know that this has been something that's been featured on the channel through range days and all that. And we've been waiting patiently for our, our great government, whether it's the ATF or Department of State, all sorts of bureaucracies uh, had their hands in basically uh, making the wait a little bit longer for them to get these in. They are in country, they are here, and they are phenomenal. You guys know that I have been getting into 1911s in the last few years, and when you have a chance to, to have a gun like this, whether it's a double stack and it's nine millimeter, and it's just, it's just a beast, uh, what can go wrong? What can go wrong with a gun like this? So without further ado, let's, uh, let's shoot a little bit. What can you say about it? It shoots great. 200 rounds in it today, not one hiccup, not one single problem. We went through uh, 100 rounds of Igman and 100 rounds of Remington White Box. Basic, out of the box, factory ammo, had no problem with any of it. So let's take a look at the specs of the Witness 2311. The new Witness 2311C by Gerson was built to be affordable and one of the highest quality double stack 1911s today. This model is chambered in 9mm with a double stack capacity of 17 plus 1. It comes with an accessory rail, multiple configurations, and the barrel length is 4.25 inches. It is optic ready and this particular model comes with a red dot already attached to it. So right out of the box, you're ready to rock and roll. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go from top to bottom, give you everything you need to know about this gun, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we're going to kind of go in and, and look at this before we go. It is clear, empty mag, nothing in the chamber. So we're going to go ahead and, and start with the review. It is a capacity of 17 plus 1 in the 9mm version. All right, so let's dig in. It obviously comes with an optic cut because it is already got, this model has an optic already on it. Let's take a look at the sights. Pretty good sight picture right there with the dot and all of that. As far as the slide serrations, the rear and front slide serrations, very easy to manipulate from either one. It's not going to be overly aggressive. It is going to be uh, just enough really to kind of get you what you need to do. It is very, very nice. This model is the C model. It's compact. It's got four and a quarter inch barrel. Underneath it does have an accessory rail. If you want to mount a light or laser combo, whatever you want to mount, it does have a Picatinny rail, accessory rail underneath, which is very, very nice. As far as the trigger goes, the trigger is unbelievable. It is really smooth. Reset is nothing, just nothing. Very audible, very crisp. 
let's pull that again for the reset there is nothing there in that reset very 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 good trigger amazing trigger 1911 triggers are great this one's even better than most very very little take up as you can see great wall and when it breaks it's just crisp and clean audible like i said the reset is minimal very audible not a problem whatsoever the mag release is nice sticks out great if you have small fingers like me and reach it very easily it does have the ambi safety on each side if that's something that you're definitely interested in let's talk about these grips these grips are unbelievable uh, an aggressive stippling but not that anything's going to cut your hand but you're definitely not going to lose control of it it's got obviously the stippling in the front stippling in the back stippling everywhere that you need to make sure that you're going to be able to control this this gun it makes it safer makes it uh, more accurate and all of that now you can see here it's got the nice extended beaver tail you're going to be able to get a really nice high grip it's got the grip safety on there another safety feature for those that are wanting and needed that but that is a really good grip safety very easy to depress when you're shooting not a problem you don't have to have you know superman strength to get it down but that that extended beaver tail is going to get you no hammer bite no nothing no slide bite nothing it's going to guard that more importantly it's going to let you get that high high grip to make sure you control this gun in every way possible let's talk about the magwell this magwell is phenomenal uh, let's go ahead and slide the mag in here quick release it falls right in smooth as silk it's just butter it looks good it feels great for people that have big hands unlike myself you might enjoy having that mag well on there to get a better grip but it is it is phenomenal smooth uh, to put the magazine in and release it falls falls out from top to bottom guys this gun is just a work of art i've shot the prototypes i've shot some working models before but now that the production models are out they went back and tweaked some things from previous models to make sure that it was good to go and like i said it is unbelievable I'm not saying it's a perfect gun because there's probably no such thing, but I tell you what, they hit an absolute home run with this. This is as close to perfect as it gets, guys. Well, guys, if you're like I am and you've been waiting for this, the wait is over. They are available now. You can go into your local gun shop, wherever you are, ask them. I need to get one of the Gerson Witness 2311s. They should be able to get them for you. They are out in the wild. The wait is over, and like I said, my god is it worth the wait uh one of the best guns i've ever shot one of my favorite guns in the arsenal uh, i fell in love with it back in january at shot show uh range day and now that i've got my hands on it and it is mine i can't i can't even begin to tell you how excited i am and it does not disappoint so guys uh go to your local gun shop go online Find the EAA Gerson Witness 2311. It's going to be something you're definitely going to want in your, in your arsenal. Guys, get to the range. Be more proficient with your firearms. Stay in tune with what's going on with your state, local, federal, and all the two-way legislation. Make sure that your elected representatives are doing their job. And if not, guess what? Next year is an election year. Let's get them out and find someone that will. More importantly, just enjoy your rights as being an American, one of which is to keep and bear arms. We'll see you guys soon. Simplify.